This year's World Environmental Day, which has its theme as connecting people to nature and the city and on the land from the poles to the equator, started with the planting of 150 trees at the University Second Gate by guests academia under the Faculty of Environmental Sciences of Nandazikiwe University. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Joseph Ahaniku, while planting a tree, said good environment is very vital to the existence of man while thanking the Faculty of Environmental Sciences for turning the university into a natural greenery with its aggressive planting of trees. We use this opportunity to tell ourselves that we have a duty. We have that duty and consciousness that if we fail, to identify and recognize our threats. If we fail to touch nature and embrace nature, that we will find it difficult in this life we are living. Because we need to leverage on the potentials, the opportunities around us, of which we have the resources abound. Also at the University of Deuterium, which was filled to capacity by guests, students and academia and hosts of others as the Faculty of Environmental Science held their 11th annual lecture with the topic Building Collapse in Nigeria, Challenges and Prospects. The Dean of the Faculty, Professor Valerie Nodu, described it as timely and apt, especially with the insistent collapse of building in the country. Trees are carbon sinks. Trees create their own microclimate. Trees take care of global warming and climate change. The 11th annual lecture of the faculty has been fixed on this day with an aptly selected topic. We want to connect people to nature by using the topic building collapse in Nigeria, challenges and prospects. The guest lecturer, Professor Bala Kabil, while presenting his lecture, noted that building collapse are mostly caused by technical, managerial and emergency factors, of which technical factor holds the larger reason for building collapse due to quackery practiced by builders and the so-called professionals, and called on the government to provide legislative framework to back the Nigerian B building code to check building collapse. Because of this thing that we are talking about, building collapse is one of the reasons that actually brought about this thing, so that we say, Let's upskill our people, let's reskill them, let's certify them. In his remark, Chairman of the Occasion, represented by Mr. Joe Ibuhwe, thanked the faculty for organizing such an event, which is in-depth and enlightening, to mark the World Environmental Day. High point of the event was the question and answer session. We celebrate the World Environmental Day with E-Team connecting with nature, and from today's lecture, we've been told the importance of building structures that are of quality and planting trees to support the ecological system. From UNIZIG, Oka, it's been Kenichi Kuchukodi for ABS News.